Hey, <laughs> so it's a beautiful day here in South Carolina. About almost, it's not 90 degrees yet, but I think it's going to be 90 degrees today. And I came outside to look at my flowers. I tend to do that on beautiful sunny days such as this. I don't have a green thumb by any stretch of the imagination. My grandfather did. He farmed for, I don't know, 60, 70 years of his life, and he could grow anything. And we ate well of all the things that he was able to grow and provide for us. But I had tried on at least three different occasions to grow an elephant ear, and I just never could do it until now. <laughs> Let me show you this baby. I'm so excited. A few weeks ago, baby was like this. Now look, isn't this dude gorgeous? Look at this dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just, just beautiful. So I wanted more to put around this tree. As you can see, the other side of the tree is kind of bare, right? So a friend of mine said, oh, I have some. I can give you and you could put those on the other side of the tree and I said thank you so I don't know if you can see this but here's this baby I put it in a pot because somebody took my shovel and I wasn't able to plant it out there so as soon as I get my shovel I will plant it but it just this whole thing makes me think about growth and how you know we can attempt to do things in our lives and we're not always successful the first time the second time the third time but that doesn't mean that we give up and also you know maybe sometimes the things that we strive to to achieve in our lives maybe those things just are not for us and we have to come to that realization too everything is not for everybody just because you know someone undertakes a certain um, challenge or task and they're very successful at it, doesn't mean that you will be. And that's not to be negative, of course, but I think we all just have to learn how to find what works best for us because everything is not for everybody and we're not equipped to do everything. Um, I'm not equipped to plant this little baby elephant ear over there with the big one because I don't have the right tools. I don't have the shovel that I need to do it because I let somebody borrow my shovel. They haven't brought it back yet, so it looks like I'm going to have to go get it. But the point is, I'm not equipped to take on that task. And so I just need to accept that for now, at least, I had to take an alternative route and plant the the elephant ear in this little pot until I'm able to get it in, into the ground. Don't be discouraged when you attempt something and it doesn't work out for you. It could be that the soil in which you're trying to plant isn't fertile enough. You get where I'm saying you get what I'm saying? Maybe you don't have what you need to nourish the soil properly. Maybe you're just not equipped to handle that task. And then here's the, here, here's the big one. Maybe it's just not for you. That's hard to accept sometimes that, some, that maybe something is just not meant for you. Or let's say you've been doing something for a rather long time and you've been successful at it. Um, but the more you keep digging into it, maybe the harder it becomes for you to accomplish the task. Maybe your heart just isn't in it anymore. Maybe it's time for you to move on to bigger and better things. So even though you've been doing the same thing for quite a while, it doesn't mean that that's what you always have to do. And it doesn't mean that you can't do something else. Okay. And then sometimes um, you just have to stop and breathe. And I don't think we do that enough. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to relax. It's okay to find a little bit of peace and quiet. I think as a society, we have been so 
driven that we need to be hustlers. You got to hustle to make it. Now, I hate that. I hate that whole hustle attitude. I'm going to tell you the truth. I hate it um, because it can be, it, it can really put so much pressure on people to make them feel as if they're inept or inadequate, um, that they're that they're not purpose driven, that they're never going to be successful if they don't have the mentality. You wake up, your feet hit the floor. You got to be running. You got to be pushing. You got to be driving. No, I don't agree with that at all. I agree that when you find whatever it is you're passionate about, you will spend the um, um, appropriate amount of time proactively um, working to achieve the goals which you have set for yourself. But I don't think everybody has to have a hustle attitude. I, I don't like that and I don't have a hustle attitude. I could sit here on this porch all day doing nothing and still feel like I accomplished something today. What might that be? Rest because your body needs it. Um, peace, because sometimes just sitting alone and quiet is the best thing for you to do. And also sitting, you know, and not hustling and bustling all the time gives you time to think. It can help boost your creativity actually when you're resting. So don't ever feel any type of way about having to have a hustle attitude, okay? Um, some people who are, um, you know, just so driven, <laughs> um, I feel bad for them. I do, because they don't know how to relax. And um, I have a friend, I have to tell her all the time, please sit down one day and do nothing. Oh, I can. I've always got, I got to be doing something. No, you don't. You need to rest. You need to relax. Take some time for yourself. She never goes on vacation. She never really takes a day off to do nothing. She's always moving and shaking. And I think she's incredibly unhappy because of that. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to get on here and chat with you today. <laughs> and I, I do want to share three books with you that I recently bought and let's do that now okay so here we are with the mini book haul there are only three books but this first one i couldn't wait to get because i think that this woman is a phenomenal talent she has a tiny desk she and her group have a tiny desk concert video that i have watched over and over and over again i just i love her voice she raps she sings she does spoken word and she writes poetry. Her name is Teriana Tank Ball. And this is her book, Vulnerable AF. Now, it's a, it's a poetry collection. And I, I'm so excited to read this. Um, I used to write poetry back in the day. I really don't write as much as I used to. But it's something that I really want to get back into. But anyway... If you've ever, if you've never heard of Tank and the Bangas, um, you have got to watch their Tiny Desk concert on YouTube. I love it. And one other thing I really like about her performances of her music, she could take the same songs and, re and perform them in such different ways. I've never seen in any of her video clips that she has performed any two songs the same way she always does them in a different manner and it, i just anyway i love her <laughs> teriana tank ball ball vulnerable af poems next is a book by an author that i greatly respect and admire and i love her work um, her name is jd mason and this book is broken glass it is a novel and JD announced a while back on her YouTube channel that she was retiring from writing novels. Kind of made me sad. She said that she, it doesn't mean that she'll never write another novel again, but as for now, she doesn't have any intentions on writing novels and she is moving on to take on some other tasks and and grow. She's evolving. She's doing 
other things. And I'm very, very happy for her. But this book is about um, uh, Terry Dawson. She has been chasing a dream, a dream of becoming an A-list actress for most of her life. But after a string of disappointing roles, ending with a brief stint on a reality television show, Terry finally decides to leave it all behind and leaves Atlanta in her rear view mirror. Devastation Louisiana is all abuzz about the new resident in town. A famous actress has bought a house and decided to call the small town home. Dr. Nicholas Nick Hunt, born and raised in Devastation, practices medicine in New Orleans, comes home for a quick visit, and meets the beautiful Terry Dawson. Luther has never given himself Luther has never forgiven himself for not being there for his wife when she needed him most. Years later, her death still haunts him, compelling him to walk away from his passion, music. Terry Dawson is light, a second chance at life, but does he deserve a fresh start? When the lives of these three people intersect, the result is jaw-dropping and devastating. So... I'm looking forward to reading this book. And again, congratulations to J.D. Robb on her retirement and for seeking out something new. And speaking of growing and change um, and evolution, this book, the cover is just absolutely gorgeous. It is called Woman Evolve, Break Up With Your Fears and Revolutionize Your Life by Sarah Jakes Roberts. Look at this gorgeous cover. Oh my goodness. So I'm in a Facebook group, uh, Facebook reading group, and someone posted they had read this book, that it was excellent. And she said something that really caught my attention. She said, have your notebook or your journal ready when you're reading this book because you'll want to take notes. I'm all in. I love a self-help book, quote unquote, um, scriptural based book that has quotes and lists. I, I love lists in a book. I don't know why, but that is my thing. <laughs> and so when she said, you're going to want to have your notebook and a journal, I'm thinking, ding, ding, ding. You may not get to read and write at the same time. Oh, I'm all in on this. So <laughs> this book is about, um, the story of Eve. So the most, un, the most unappreciated woman in history is Eve. We're so blinded by her mistake that we don't see how she gathered the pieces she had left and dared to revolutionize, revolutionize her life. In a vivid reinterpretation of the story of Eve, as found in the book of Genesis, Sarah Jakes Roberts helps us to learn lessons on womanhood and the strength hidden in Eve's story. So, and then it goes on and, and gives more details. I won't read everything here, but I'm looking forward to reading this book. And when I review this, I'm going to review it on my other channel, K Reads the Word, um, because it is scriptural, scripturally based, it will be reviewed there, okay? So I just wanted to share this with you and let you know um, that I'll be reading this book. So yeah, that's my haul for today. And I appreciate your time listening to me ramble. And I hope that you pick up these books. And if you've read any of them, or if you're going to, please let me know down in the comments below. Until next time, everybody, stay safe, wash your hands, mask up, and keep reading. Bye-bye.